Uh-huh. Check it out. Last <laughs> night, Justin Timberlake made a stop at the Bridgestone Arena for his Man of the Woods tour, the same place that the Predators will host Game 7 of the NHL playoffs. Boy, didn't that work out great. I know. Let's have Justin Timberlake do a concert Wednesday night, and Ooh. the Preds play Game 7 Thursday night. I love this. It's going to give him some good luck, I think. The team will have a home ice advantage against the Winnipeg Jets. That's all the luck they need, I think. Right now, the series is tied at three games each. The puck drops at 8 o'clock on the NBC Sports Network. The winner moves on to play Vegas in the Western Conference Finals. You know, I voted against them the Not last against. game. You didn't vote well, against. Well, no, I wasn't rooting against them, but I didn't think they could win it, and they did, so I'm going to root against them today again. I don't so, think they're going to win this one either. So oh, the Predators win. are winning this, no doubt about it. And Rebecca Sweet and Mike Witcher cooking a li up a little something called catfish. <laughs> we hear it sizzling. Yeah. I know. You know what's, what's funny? Uh, so I have never cooked catfish before. Be honest, I'm not really I'm a big fish fan, but <laughs> Mike said that it was pretty good. My <laughs> father-in-law was the one who gave me this recipe. He and did. everyone in the studio seems to be pretty happy with it. And I will say it's probably one of the more simple items that I have ever made. So again, here we go. We got the catfish, Mike. We cut it up into some pieces. Because it um, came in a fillet. It did. It came in a fillet. It was okay. actually pretty cheap. Yeah. I was surprised oh, really? by it. Yeah. I put a little bit of canola oil in there. I had a, 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 a viewer last night uh, at the grocery store say that he likes to put extra virgin olive oil in there. Oh. Just try and keep it a little bit yeah. more healthy. He says it gives it some good flavor. But I used canola oil. That's what my father-in-law told me to do. Wayne Sweet and all, out in Oliver Springs. Um, <laughs> big and shout out to Oliver he's Springs. He's a big morning. catfish. He makes some really yeah. good catfish. But so you put that in there, you cut it up into chunks, you put it in a, a paper bag. So first you got to wash it off. Why and the you paper put bag? In, he says it tastes better. Okay. So I followed his directions. There we go. You I'm get the Louisiana crispy fresh fish fry. That's what we used right there. You put it in the bag right here. You shake it. So you just it up. dump all that in there, yes. take the fish, dump it in there, and then literally shake it up. fry it. You put it in the frying pan, and there you go. We and you've been some frying nice some over here. I have to say, I have, I have officially never had catfish until this morning. Yeah. I actually tried this. I'm not a huge fish person either. I try, but I just don't like that fishy taste. I think it's fantastic. Not that bad. I will. I have not tried it. I probably will not try it. <laughs> hey, but, honesty is best. Sweet. Honesty uh, is my best. My father-in-law says you pair it up with some coleslaw and some oh, that sounds good. little. Corn, corn, uh, you know, hush puppies. Hush puppies. Hush there puppies. you go. Hey, let's take a look at your Predators forecast. We Mike's going to talk more about what you can expect <laughs> closer to home. But if you're heading off to Nashville, it's going to be a warm one. It might be nice to head off into the arena and cool off next to uh, ice as we are going to continue to see that chance for some uh, thunderstorms, let's say, getting up to around mid-afternoon dinner time. We'll continue to see partly cloudy skies. That puck drops at 8 o'clock tonight. Mike, we're hoping for a big win. Yeah, no doubt about that. And here locally, we're also talking about uh, showers and thunderstorms kind of work their way into the